What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. Today we're doing the Prestige Cup with the Mustang Mach 1. I'll show you the shift pattern for the car. We'll do the last speed trap, the last sprint race. Then we'll do the last couple of races and see the final time. So we're going to do the 0 to 60. All right, this should be the final 0 to 60 race, I believe. Race number 19. So let's go ahead and get this one out of the way. Three, two, one, let go. All right. And there we go, zero to 60. Zero to 60, we made it, no problem. Um, that was a 2.929. So on race number 19, that's about what you can expect to see the other guy run on zero to 60. So if your car is doing zero to 60 faster than 2.9, you should be able to beat race number 19, no problem. If you enjoy this content, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell and set those notifications to all and share this video with your friends. Thank you. All right, here comes race number 20 and this is how you shift the car. Let go of the gas right at number one. Try to get a perfect start. All good shifts in nitrous on second gear. All right, very easy car to drive. If you have most of the stage six and most of the fusions, this is how you drive this car, all right? Second nitrous, third. And I don't have to go into fourth. You may or may not need to shift into fourth gear according to what parts you have installed on your car and how your car is tuned. Remember the way your car is tuned completely changes or the way the, oh my God, today's one of them days. The parts you have installed on your car can sometimes completely change the way your car needs to be tuned. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Man, one of them days today. All right, so now we got a speed trap of 153 miles per hour. So if your car can beat 153, you know you're good for beating this last speed trap. Here we go. Should be really easy to do, honestly, if you have enough parts in the car and you have it tuned right and you shift it properly. Mine hit 169, so you probably will need a pretty decent amount of parts on this car to make it through there because 159 and 163, that's kind of a, that's not a huge difference. And my car is almost maxed out. I'm only missing one stage six part and I've got all the fusions installed. All right, so let's go ahead and do the last five races. And I know, I know a lot of people wonder, hey, can this car beat Tempest 3? Well, it should be able to, yes. From what I'm seeing, my calculations say if you have this car upgraded enough, if you have it maxed out or close to maxed out, it should be able to make it through Tempest 1, Tempest 2, and Tempest 3. I think Tempest 2 has a lot of those uh, uh, speed traps, the 0 to 60 races, I think. So that's a little tough. All right, that's a little tough on some cars, but I'm pretty sure this one's going to make it through pretty well. I don't know if it would be my first choice on cars to run with Tempest, but should do the job if you get enough parts in it and drive it correctly. Seems like most tier three cars in the game are capable of beating Tempest. You know, most, most uh, tier five cars are capable of beating Tempest. Tier four is the hard one. Tier 4 is the hard one. Tier 2 is a little rough. Tier 4 is a little rough. And Tier 1, I mean, you get the Volkswagen GTI. It'll beat Tempest 1 and Tempest 2, no problem. For Tempest 3, unfortunately, they give you a car and force you to use it. So they give you a little Mazda Miata and they make you use that for Tempest 1 Tier 3. Tempest, Tempest 3 Tier 1... I am all messed up this morning. I need more coffee. I need more coffee, all right? Apologize for my crazy wackiness. I can't seem to speak properly at all today. So yeah, here we go. Y'all know what I'm saying though. I hope, I hope y'all know what I'm saying at least. All right, so we're, we're getting pretty close to the last race, guys. So start paying more attention to how fast my opponents are going. My car is running an 8.3. These guys are running a 9.1. So 
So I have a feeling, I have a feeling you're going to need to have this car almost maxed out to tell you the truth. All right, we'll go ahead and see if we can install that or not. All right, so it gave us a stage six part. We're going to go ahead and install that. I guess I'm missing more than one stage six. I'm still miss. Oh, I'm missing way more stage six parts than I realized. Okay, never mind. That car is not almost maxed out. All right, so now we got that part on there. We're going to go ahead and run through more of this. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ba bam. We got it. No problem. No problem. Let's see. Let's see. We ran at 8.2. So that made a little, a, a nice bit of difference, honestly. Got some keys. Here comes the final race, guys. Looks like this is race number 30. So pay attention. And this should show you the final time of the race. All right, here we go, here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right, where are we gonna run? Are we gonna win? So whatever time the opponent runs should be very, very similar to the time you're gonna see. So he ran an 8.6, roughly an 8.7. So you're probably gonna see Big ol' RP, guys. That's what's that's what's nice about the Prestige Cup. So we ran an 8.2. That guy ran 8.6. So I would expect you to see 8.6, 8.7s, maybe 8.5s on the very last person. All right. So it's gonna the last race is gonna be a little bit different for everybody, but it should be very similar to this time. Okay. You're probably gonna get a different car. Each car you get runs a slightly different time. So if you're if you're very close and you get stuck, go back to your garage, come back out to here, race it again, and the next car will run it either a little faster or a little slower. And there's usually one really slow car. So if you come out here enough times, you might get that slow car if you're lucky. So if you're stuck, that's always some good advice is to try and try and try again. But if I just hit restart, it's going to race against the exact same car. So you got to go back to your garage, back to the map, and back to the Prestige Cup to, to get a different car. All right. So, yeah, that's about the time you can expect to see. Please remember to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell. Set those notifications to all. Don't forget to check out my uh, Discord server, guys. There's a link in this video's description along with my reaction youtube channel and my war robots youtube channel so it'd be cool to see you guys over on all that stuff and yeah we will catch you next time all right thanks for watching lightning out